Hi, welcome to another video here on my channel. My name is Laszlo, and today I'm going to talk about Amazon Bedrock. So what is Amazon Bedrock? Uh, Bedrock is a fully managed service from AWS that uh, makes foundational models uh, from leading AI companies available for you to use uh, through a single uh, application programming interface um, so, or API. Um, these foundational models are uh, large machine learning models that are pre-trained on vast amounts of data. And this makes them useful for um, uh, various use cases like um, um, search, content creation, and things like that. As you probably have seen right now, uh, AI is a big thing and companies like ChatGPT uh, and others are um, working on uh, better and better models for this. And a AWS came also with this uh, Bedrock service uh, as an alternative uh, in this domain. So in this video, I'm going to go through the Amazon Bedrock console, show you what's there, how can you activate the service, how can you use it. And also I'm going to show you a small little uh, Python script uh, that uses these uh, models to generate some output. So let's get started uh, with this um, demo. So here I am in the AWS console and uh, I'm going to go to Amazon Bedrock. Uh, you can search for it if it doesn't show it doesn't show for you in the last uh, use services. So Amazon Bedrock with this green icon. And uh, once you're there, uh, you can click on get started or you can open the menu. Um, let's click on get started. And here you see the different uh, foundation models that are there for uh, you to use. Um, so let's look at uh, first at how you can enable them. So before you can use them, you need to go to model access and uh, enable them. For me, uh, this is already done. I've done it uh, before. So I have access granted, but for you, uh, you might need to uh, request access here on this page. And um, for some um, models, like for this uh, Anthropic Cloud, you need to um, uh, submit the use case uh, that you want to use it for. So if uh, you... Um, click here on top, Manage Model Access. You can um, uh, request the access. And um, right now uh, I uh, could submit the use case for this one, but I won't do that. So how long does it take? Um, they say it can take uh, up to 72 hours, but for me, actually, it was just three minutes. Uh, once I um, um, made a request in three minutes uh, I was uh, granted the access. So once you get uh, access you will receive an email something uh, like this uh, just allow me a minute. so something like this your AWS marketplace subscription for cohere generate model blah 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 uh, so you got the access and here you get the details uh, including the pricing so if you click on this and if we open the pricing, for example, for this model, um, you can see uh, it has uh, pricing, for example, based on the input tokens. So $1.5 for 1 million uh, input tokens. And there are also some other uh, things here. You can check this out on your own. Um, you have to understand that you pay by this, uh, this, uh, the amount of tokens that you actually use. Now, one uh, little bit of uh, warning. Um, you can create your own uh, custom models and uh, train them, uh, but um, you should stay away from this if you don't know what you're doing, because here you can quickly accumulate a lot of, uh, lot of cost, because the training uh, such models um, has a very high price. So, um, if you want to use just the base models, you can do that. Um, and that will not cost you uh, too much if you're just uh, trying them out and uh, you do um, generic uh, interaction with, with the models. So um, as you can see, we have a lot of them. 
you can read uh, what every model uh, does here and um, uh, I will leave that up to you. Now I'm just going to show you the playgrounds. For example, if we go to the text playground here, you have text, chat and image. And you need to select which model you want to use. So I'm going to choose, for example, the meta model. And um, let's use this one here. And um, I'm going to ask it, uh, for example, uh, I don't know, what is the average lifetime of a mountain lion? And click on run. And it will generate some uh, output, so this one here. And you can um, change here the, the parameters of this uh, request, so you can adjust the temperature from here uh, and other parameters, and also the response length. And you can also view the API request that has been sent um, to Bedrock. So here it's your prompt with the parameters. Um, and you can use actually this uh, CLI command to run this from the CLI. But you can also use programming languages like Python, Node or whatever you want to use to make calls to the API to generate responses from Bedrock. And we're going to do that a little bit later. Um, now we could also use, for example, the chat uh, playground. Here you again, you have to select a model. Um, let's use this one. You can add the instructions to this and update the configuration again. Um, and you can just chat with it. Hello, how are you today, for example? Let's see what does it respond. Okay. Tell me, can I live on Mars. So let's see what does it respond to this. Um, and it didn't respond anything. I, I run into this situation before. So let's repeat the question. It doesn't understand it. So create me a plan to colonize Mars. It doesn't want to cooperate this time. Let's, let's try a different uh, model. Sorry, I clicked away, so let's go back to chat. Meta, let's try the meta model. Um, create me a plan to colonize Mars. And Actually, it, it does something. So that other model has some problem maybe um, right now because earlier it worked. So here's the plan that it has created for me to colonize Mars. So yeah, just something that you can play around with. Now let's go to image. And for image, we only have the stability AI um, um, foundational model. And let's create an image. So create me an image of, um, let's say, mountain lion with the um, with some mountains in the background. Shot with a Sony A sixty eight camera. So let's see what does it generate. So it takes just a little bit. And you see here the image of the mountain lion that it has been generated. Uh, let's try something else. Create an image of some teenagers playing basketball in a typical school gym. And yeah, that image I should have said photo, maybe. <clears throat> I 
yeah, so now it's a little bit different. So you see how it works uh, here in the console. Now um, let's try it out. Um, let's try out some code. I'm going to go to AWS Cloud9, one of my uh, cloud IDE, where I, can, where I can create or edit some code and run it. So here's uh, one small script that I have here uh, in Python. And this uh, uses Boto3. Um, and it uses the bedrock runtime. Uh, it creates a prompt uh, how to create a paper ship. Um, the number of tokens, the temperature, uh, and other parameters. Then you have to specify the model ID, and I'm using the cohere command text v14. Um, and then uh, I'm taking the response and uh, uh, print it out. So let's uh, run this. Python run model pi and you see I'm going to get a response soon from this and you see it here to create a paper ship you will need the following materials and it gives me instructions uh, on how to do this but because I have max tokens 200 I get only the first part of this I could also change this to how to create uh, how to tie a tie for example let's run it again and uh, i'm going to get some response <clears throat> and you have the instructions on how to tie a tie so as you can see it's pretty easy to run it uh, um, you just need to know the model id this is this is all in the documentation what you have to use uh, how to have to use it so you can get started with it uh, actually pretty quickly so this is the video for today hopefully you did like it and it helps you to understand the generative ai offering from aws um, and get started with it so if you'd like the video click on the like button subscribe to the channel and i hope to see you soon with another video here on my channel have an awesome day